Hey everybody, this is Tony Cottesbody from The Great Vocal Majority, and today I want to talk about this hot topic. It's the Iranian nuclear negotiations and the agreement that President Obama has arrived at and with John Kerry. I want you to be prepared. There's going to be a blizzard, and I mean a blizzard, of lies. Just flat-out lies to you, the American people, about what is in this agreement. And I want to show you an example of the kind of lies that have, that you're going to be subjected to. Now here in this is, is a Jake Tapper interview of Ben Rhodes, a national security advisor, and listen to what he says back in April about this plan. So the Israelis have uh, put out uh, this list of things that they think should be in the final deal with Iran, including allowing inspectors to go anywhere, anytime. That seems perfectly reasonable, no? Well, Jake, first of all, under this deal, you will have uh, anywhere, anytime, 24-7 access as it relates to the nuclear facilities uh, that Iran has. You will also have... Now, before we start, I go any further, I want you to realize what he just said. He said that we will have anywhere, anytime access. Uh, we'll continue this, but uh, he pretty much just keeps reiterating the same point. Access to what, about the, what about the military facilities? So what we'll have under this deal, Jake, is the strongest inspections regime that any country faces in the world. And what that means is if we see a site that we need to inspect on a military facility, we can get access to that site and inspect it. So if it's a suspicious site, that we believe is related to uh, its nuclear efforts, we can get access and inspect that site through the IAEA. All right, now you heard what he said. Anywhere, anytime. That was a primary condition that the president set, that he said without, without that, he would not be able to sign any agreement. That was one of many other stipulations that Obama made to Kerry, and Kerry made as well, that said that they would never sign an agreement with a country that is so distrustful and untrustworthy as Iran. Now, I'm going to go to another that this now remember this is an interview in April. So not that long ago. Now we're going to go to another interview just basically today. This interview is a little bit longer. It's Aaron Burnett from CNN and this was today, July 15th. I want you to listen to what Ben Rhodes has to say now about anywhere, anytime inspections. And, and you know, I, I understand you're saying they can go 24-7, but there is a process, right? You can't just say, we're suspicious of this site, we're walking in tomorrow, walking in in an hour. Uh, it, it, it's, not, it's not that anytime, anywhere. How can you know if Iran is cheating if they have any time to prepare for an inspection? Well, first of all, it is 24-7, continuous monitoring of their nuclear facilities. So we can see what they're doing in the facilities where they enrich uranium, again, where they operate centrifuges, uh, where they have a reactor that will no longer be able to develop weapons-grade plutonium. Uh, we never uh, sought in this negotiation uh, the, the, the capacity for so-called anytime, anywhere, where you could basically go anywhere in the country, look at whatever you wanted to do, even if it had nothing to do with the nuclear program. That is not what he said in the interview with Jake Tapper. He said exactly the opposite of that. Now that the agreement has been agreed to, and it doesn't include anywhere, anytime inspections, listen to what this guy is telling you. He is lying. And you're going to get a lot of this from people like him, Obama, Kerry, every Democrat who supports this bill, or anybody, in fact, who supports this bill. These guys are liars. They are not to be trusted. Anyway, that's all I had for this today on Great Vocal Majority. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care, and don't trust these guys. They've lied enough to us already, and this is too important for us to allow them to get away with it.